Hello everyone, I'm Matt Mitrovich, the Alter Historian. So as you guys know, the announcement of HBO's Confederate could have gone better, but one good thing did come out of it, and that was the news of a new Alter History show from Amazon. On August 1st, 2017, Deadline announced that Amazon is producing another Alter History television show from Will Packer and Boondocks creator Aaron Magruder. Titled Black America, this drama will imagine a world where African Americans have secured the southern states of Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama following the end of the American Civil War and the preparations for slavery. Calling their nation New Colonia, its 150 years of existence will include military incursions, assassinations, regime change, and coups. By the present day, however, New Colonia is experiencing a moment of economic growth, while the United States, their ornery neighbor to the north, is in decline. Now, according to Deadline, Amazon announced the show back in February, but gave few details other than it would be an alternate history like their adaptation of The Man in the High Castle. It was the announcement of HBO's Confederate and the backlash of social media that followed that prompted Amazon to finally announce the title and premise. Now, the cynic in me wonders whether Amazon was still on the fence about Black America until the Firestorm War Confederate convinced them that there was a market for something besides the standard Confederacy wins timeline, but that is just me being an armchair conspiracy theorist. And while I'm still in the hashtag Yes Confederate group, I'm actually a little bit more excited for Black America. First, the idea of African Americans carving out their own nation is a pretty unique idea. Granted, it's been done before, most famously in Fire on the Mountain by Terry Dyson, which I reviewed on this channel, but the number of these stories is just a drop in the bucket compared to the vast ocean of stories where the Confederacy is independent. Thus, we are getting a story that hasn't been done to death. On top of that, the show's creators seem to understand how important it is to know your history when you try to change it. Packer admitted to Deadline they already brought historians in as consultants for the show, which is a positive development in my opinion. Perhaps these historians will direct Black America's producers to an actual free Black state created in our timeline, Liberia, which was founded by the American Colonization Society as a homeland for freed slaves. Now, in our timeline, this idea never really caught on. The U.S. government fused the back to plan, and abolitionists saw the schemes as another way to strengthen slavery by moving to influence of free Blacks in the South. An even bigger hurdle the society failed to overcome was convincing African Americans to emigrate. The vast majority were born in America, spoke English, and practiced Christianity. For better or worse, the United States was their home, and they had no connection with Africa to entice them back there. Nevertheless, some freebacks did settle in Iberia, and thus the existence of the state gives the idea of New Colonia the weight of plausibility. But most importantly for Black America's success, they already have alternate historians working on the project. As previously mentioned, Aaron Magruder is the creator of the comic The Boondocks and also worked on its animated adaptation. One of the more controversial episodes of the cartoon was a 2006 episode, Return of the King. In that episode, Martin Luther King Jr. survives his assassination, but ends up in a coma, which he finally awakes from in 2000. The episode centered on how King is disgusted and disappointed with the state of black popular culture, eventually ending with him using the N-word in a speech where he lashes out the current generation of African Americans. As you can probably guess, this was one of my favorite episodes of The Boondocks, but more importantly, it also gives me hope that black America will do its alternate history the right way. For you see, while most of the reaction to black America has been positive, I have seen some on social media dismiss it as a black nationalist fantasy that is just another, quote, hate whitey show. So wait, a show that has an independent confederacy that still has slavery to the present day is not racist, and I should give it a chance. But a show that has black Americans having their own country is racist because reasons? That just comes off as more white victimhood nonsense that affects the internet. Black America's creators seem to understand the dangers of being overly optimistic and doesn't look like they're trying to create a utopia, especially with the references to political instability that color New Colonia's history. And Magruder's own criticism of black culture in the past should also be taken into account. That said, it's not like New Colonia doesn't have the potential to be a regional power in Black America's alternate timeline. The three states that make up the free Black state would have the economic potential to give New Colonia an economy the size of Argentina, so having them experience a period of economic growth by the present day is not impossible. That said, I do have difficulty wrapping my head around the idea the United States government would give up three of their own states to form a free Black homeland. While Black America's creators haven't gone into great detail about how New Colonia came to be, it is unlikely that the federal government, even one dominated by anti-slavery radical Republicans who want to punish the South severely, would delete some stars from the flag after fighting a war to keep the Union together. Granted, maybe there was a rebellion of recently free slaves and a war really America just did not have the stamina for another fight. But even then, why would America give up the port of New Orleans? Wouldn't this impact trade flowing down the Mississippi to the Gulf of Mexico if it had to go through an entirely different country? And why carve new colonia out of the existing states in the South? Why not hand over some lightly populated territory out West? Nevertheless, I still think Amazon's Black America is worth a watch. Additionally, I see no reason why it can't exist alongside HBO's Confederate. Both shows are using alternate history to shine a light on America's troubled past regarding race relations, but are doing so from different perspectives, which is completely acceptable for artists to do in a free society. As long as they're an audience, I say, go for it. Well, that is not the same subject. Actually, that's not true. There is one more thing I want to say. I'm tired of the American Civil War!
We're done. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I'm tired of speaking about it. I'm tired of always hearing about it. I'm done. I'm done. Now that is all I really have to say in the subject. If you like what I do, please comment, subscribe, share this video, support me on Patreon. And please stay after the end of the credits because there's something I want to share with you guys. I'm Matt Mitrovich, The Alternate Story. Bye. Hey guys, I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm going to actually have a giveaway. I found myself with an extra copy of Harry Durldove's Armistice, book three in his Hot War series. So if you guys uh, want to possibly uh, win this, uh, please uh, uh, please listen to comments of uh, an alternate history television show you're looking forward to. I mean, we got Confederate coming up, we got Black America coming up, we got the next season, The Men in the High Castle. Uh, SSGB, I'm assuming, is going to come over to America one of these days. Uh, Timeless is coming back for another season. Or there might be a show I'm forgetting about. If there is, let me know in the comments. And whatever one answer I like best, uh, for whatever reason they get for why they're looking forward to that, I'll give them a copy of the book. Um, that said, it's I'm just going to do uh, United States uh, right now, just simply because it's the first time I did it, and I don't want to end up sending it to a different country. Uh, and get really <laughs> spend a lot of money on shipping and handling. So this is just right now for the United States. Uh, if this proves popular, I might open it up to other countries, but right now, just the United States. Sorry, guys, I'm a small channel with a limited budget. Mm. So, um, yeah, I'm at Mitch Rich, the alternate story, and again, bye.